Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. So I sat down, I was meditating and I was receiving quite a few messages. And right now it seems like many people are at a place where it's, um, you're not sure. You're not sure of what's happening, why things have happened, where it's gonna lead. And it's a place where you are not comfortable either and you don't feel like you're being supported or like there's an answer that's going to rectify what's happening in your life or what has happened. And you may be trying to get answers through messages on YouTube. You may be buying books to read. You may be trying to do research and this is what they're wanting you to do. They're wanting you to look for the answers, but they're wanting you to look for the answers within, okay? I'm getting that there's a lot of people who just need some encouragement and um, a reminder that even though everything you're doing is not giving you the result that you're looking for, now remember, it's the result that you're wanting. You're looking for the result that you have tried to push for a long time. It's your result that you want. Understand that the result that's best for you is going to happen. And most of the time, it's better. It's better than the result that you are wanting. So you're going to have to be at a place where you can trust and allow. I know, I know, I know mm -hmm. many of you may be so tired of hearing that. Like this is, some of you may have been trusting and allowing for six months, maybe a year. But understand, we're coming to a close of these high energies where it's been a lot of shifts happening. There's been a lot of changes um, and this will lead mankind to a better life. It's better for you. So if you're in a space where you can hear this, trust it and know, you have to know within you that you are safe, you're protected, you are loved. There's been a lot of celestial activity. Many of you, your angels are around you. Your ancestors are helping you. Your guardians are leading you. And they are sending you to the right places at the right time to get the message to keep you at a balance. There will be some ups and downs. There'll be times where you're very, very optimistic. You're hopeful and you're happy with what's happening and, and you're okay with what's happening and you're trusting and you're allowing. And then there'll be some times where you're like, my goodness, I don't know how long I can take it anymore. This has been dragging. And then you get to that place. But as long as you go back to the center you go back and you let the energies balance out. You're fine. And this is what you're learning. It's actually, you're actually in the middle of a test. And the test is how well you can keep your balance. You can find your center. This is what you're learning. You're learning to be balanced, to maintain your energies, during the ups and downs, during the highs and lows. So as time progresses, that balance within you, you're strengthening it if you're always able to go back. So trust that it's happening for a reason and it's helping. What it's doing is it's helping us for the new energies that has been welcomed here on earth. It's actually allowing us to um, migrate or to adapt into it. And it is a process. It's not overnight. What this does is it ensures that once the shift fully happens, 
that you're not going to go back, you know, like a, like a relapse. And this is why it's taking time. It's taking time for a reason so that it can remain steady in you. So every time you feel like, oh my goodness, I can't take this or it's taking too long or please, please, I need an answer. Many of you are looking for answers. You're not going to find the answers you're looking for because the answer doesn't exist. The answer doesn't exist. The answer is for now, all you need to know is that you will be fine and that you will be at a better place. Where that place is, it's what you, what you focus on, what you say it is by the way you're living your life. So what we want to do is question, what am I focusing on? My activities that I'm partaking in, how does it make me feel? Am I at a place where I am con where I am okay with what's happening? Do I feel like I'm the one in control making these decisions? Do I feel like I have a say so in what's happening to me? This is important. You want to start questioning that. The decisions you're making, do you feel like they are actually best for you? Or do you feel like it's putting you in a place where you don't know whether it's best for you or not? You know, checking your belief systems is very important right now. I've been speaking about this for quite a bit and it's been coming stronger and stronger, especially through the daily messages. And what I'm feeling after I did the prediction readings for 2022 is that some of you are going to be experiencing similar energies because of the choices you've been making. When I say similar energies, you're going to feel like you're going through the same cycles because we had a opportunity this year in 2021 to make a choice in a different way than you ever made it. And it may have been a, a very, very scary thing to do. You may have been in a place of doubt, in a place of uncertainty where you're not sure what's going to happen because of this choice you made. Okay. Examples are people leaving their job, not knowing where their next paycheck will come. People moving to a whole different state location, uh, people leaving long-term relationships in the home situation being shaken. And however it happened, whether it's your choice or not, whether it's your choice or not, and believe me, if it if it felt like it wasn't your choice, that was your higher self, your guides, making that happen. It shakes your foundation as you know it so that it can be reconstructed into something much more stable, something much more longstanding and more in alignment with your true self. So look at it as a blessing in disguise because it will lead to something so much more beautiful than what you were experiencing. And this year was the year to do that because the energy supported it. Even though it felt hard, believe me, you had support. You had support all around you. Now in 2022, some people may experience it then. It's going to feel different in 2022 because the energies will be in a different place. So though the 2022 energy is uh, helping many people get back on track and it's going to balance things out for you. It will balance things out. You know, those who have been going through the ups and downs this year, feeling imbalanced and then being able to go back to a, a place where you are okay with what's happening, even if it doesn't feel like it's in your favor, you are trusting. Trust is a huge part of this. Being grateful is a huge part of this. Looking around you and seeing everything that has occurred and that you're still standing, you're still breathing. And you still have the strength 
to look forward to the next day. You should be grateful. There's been so much activity and so much happening. Um, I have these cards here and I think I'm just gonna pull some messages because I feel like um, something just to encourage you all and to remind you that you're not doing this alone. You know, there's many people on the opposite side of the world from you experiencing exactly what you're going through. And everyone's experiencing it at the same time, finding that inner peace within right now to get you ready for what's next, which will be beautiful. And it's gonna be exactly, exactly what you know you deserve, okay? It's in alignment with where you are, depending on the work you've done. Um, I have two cards here. I'm gonna actually share the daily guidance from Tuesday, December 7th, because I feel like there were things that came out that's gonna be helpful for you all. I only share it on Patreon, but I'll add the link down below if you feel led to go and listen to it. Uh, feel free to do that, okay? So there's two cards here. And it says a father's love and serenity. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable in that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason, whether your father is still here or has passed. Father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. There has been some, it's like a rebirth of the masculine energy right now, which has been going through, it's been wounded, okay, is what I'm getting. And um, we have a lot of people operating from the wounded masculine energy, and it is creating certain type of experiences, bringing up past life, reminders of what you've gone through and experienced. Many of you are healing father issues, so if you didn't have a father in the home, if you know, or if you had a not too good relationship with your father, or if you've been just feeling a lack of security, if your security, you're not feeling secure in yourself and you're feeling like your foundation is not stable, this is all indicative of some type of unhealed father issue and it doesn't have to be this lifetime. What I can say is if you are a father, you wanna be the best you can be to your children. This is very important right now. And if you have, you know, a relationship with your father, which is not as the best that it could be, you want to, you know, try to heal that within you. It doesn't mean you need to reach out to them and have a conversation, even though if you feel like you should, you can do that. But there is a need to feel at peace with what's happening with your father, if this is something you can uh, directly address, okay? This is actually a huge part of uh, the healing process for, for Earth, here on Earth. The masculine energy, like I said, is going through a rebirth. It's being, it's needing more nurturing. So the feminine energy has entered and this is the um, divine feminine energy, Sophia. That energy has entered to heal the feminine. It's entered to help heal the masculine. So we've been having a lot of um, a lot of things happening around masculine feminine energies. And this is something that it needs attention. It needs attention. So be aware of this. It's, a, it's an important part of the healing process and it should not be ignored, okay? Serenity is what the other card says and it reads the most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out 
and removing any negative feelings and emotions that's left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. This is a common theme as well, releasing the past, letting go of the past. Uh, those energies have to be, they have to be rectified. Forgiving, letting go, understanding why you've had to experience certain things, be, just coming at peace with what has happened, understanding, listen, we have had multiple lives from past lives and lives before that and before that. And these are the layers, the layers of energies were healing. So this year was a huge, huge release of karmic debt for a lot of people from past lives. Many, many will say, well, I, I don't understand why this is happening. It's, it's, it's most likely coming from a past life that you don't remember. So it's important to do the work as you start doing the work. Finding time alone is important. Sitting with yourself, sitting with your thoughts, you start getting downloads. You start understanding more things about yourself. And that's why the relationship you have with yourself is very important. As you sit alone and you listen you get information that can help you understand why you're experiencing what you're going through. And the missing link for many people is they're not understanding that the things that are affecting you now have happened in past lives and you're just rectifying it. So it's not about blaming the people you're experiencing it with this lifetime. They're just there to help bring it up so that you can release it they're not the one causing it. They're not the one to blame and neither are you. It's just the experience that you wanna focus on. I'm going through this and why am I going through this? When you find yourself focused on the other person who you're going through it with, you, you wanna go back and center. You wanna go back and go within. Because even if the other person played a huge role as to why you're experiencing what you're going through, just know that they were supposed to do that to bring it up, bring it to the surface so that you can face it. So releasing any kind of resentful feelings you have, resentment, all of that, you want to just let it go understand that there's a higher purpose and you trust that it's within your best interest. Okay, this these are the things that are keeping certain people um, like rooted, stuck, attached to energies that's not helping them. So it's, it's really a time to look at this from a different space. Okay, you want to look at it in a different space. Anything else? A higher vibration, honestly. Listen, wow. Yeah, listen, it's saying you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be com a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. This is actually, if you're able to listen to what people tell you, and body language is important. You can see when a certain lesson is coming for you to assist you. And if if you're aware, you can decide whether or not you want to experience that lesson or if you want and, and go do it on your own. I did see so solitude because we get disclosures when we meet people here. And when you meet someone, they can kind of tell you if you're about to experience something you've already experienced or if they're there to take you through a new lesson. And you have free will. You can make the choice depending on what is being said to you through any experience with anyone in any type of relationship, whether or not you want to go through that lesson. So listen to people. You can always pull back and do the work alone. So solitude, your soul needs attention. 
There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul, soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, a time for you. And this allows you, this is when most of the um, work is done, if not all of it. Most of the work is done in time alone, reflecting, becoming more aware. All you need is understanding. Many people, what they're struggling with is not understanding why things are happening and looking for the answer. Sometimes it's not. There is no answer. The, sometimes you just need to understand that it's within your best interest and that things will be better if you can just accept, allow, and release and move on. That's it. So pay attention to what's being said. Pay attention to the messages you're receiving. You, you're going to have to be at a place where you can listen. Like just nothingness, no noise, you by yourself. That's the, like, that's a gift. If you're able to just be alone and just listen to the sound of your heartbeat, just quiet. So solitude. Your soul needs this. It's a part of the process. Some of you, this is what you lack. There's never ever time alone where you're just by yourself. Your soul needs attention. This is where the real work is done. All right, let's pull some of these and then I'm going to close out. I think a lot of um, you may be wanting a specific answer, specific kind of message, something, something that's going to, um, I guess, give you some direction or something you, some, something you can take and take action. The only action they want you to take right now is to listen to yourself. Find some time to be alone and listen. That's it. There's no other answers, y'all, right now. You just gonna have to trust. A fiery climax approaches. Okay, so there's a definitely Something that's about to happen, okay? Please give me more. And we all know this, but it's, this is going to be very, very close. Anything else here? The energy is gaining momentum. Guys, it's happening. You just got to trust. I mean, I feel like both of these are telling you it's it's very, very close. It approaches, it's gaining momentum. Come on now, it's trying to reassure you all. Keep doing the self work. Right now we're in a, in a place where you're supposed to be doing the work, okay? Let's see if anything else, and then I'll let you all go. Okay, so we got one more. Show the world the real you. It's interesting because this came out in the daily that I'm sharing. Uh, you need to be operating from a place of your true self. This is a time to really, really face yourself and be become one with yourself. It's like no more operating out of the ego. A part of the process is you need to start operating in your true essence, yourself, who you truly are. It's not about other people. It's not about focusing on other people. It's about focusing on self. Okay. I feel like they're trying to illuminate the message so that you guys can understand how important this is. It's You can't hide behind other things that are happening around you. You really got to face yourself and become 
one with yourself, who you truly are. You're going to have to let go of all of those things. And these are those energies that can kind of keep us operating out of the ego, you know, pride, shame, guilt. Um, I mean, so much more of those not being able to be vulnerable, not being able to receive help from others. All of these things, it's time to let those go. The true you can only come out when you are really, really open. You are not blocking anything that's trying to help you. Other people around you um, will come in that's going to be helpful, that's going to be supportive. They'll lead the right people to you. Okay, angel answers anything. But you're going to have to be operating from the true you, okay? Again, I'm going to rec recommend that you all watch the um, daily that I'm sharing down below. You're ready. You are ready. So uh, some of you've already done the work. You're just in a time of just waiting. You've already done the work. Don't beat yourself up. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't doubt. All you need to do is just trust you're ready. A lot of you have already done the work. It's coming. The change is coming. Oh, wow. Look. Trust. Exactly. I felt this one coming out. You just have to trust. We're at that place where we're just trusting. And trust is a huge part of this. Because it shows that you truly, truly believe. It's also show, it's a part of like self-worth. I trust that I'm doing and I did what I needed to do that's best for me and what I deserve will come in. This is a high, high energy. Being able to trust, it's a big deal, okay? Anything else? Remain positive, guys. You wanna be in that space where you are positive, okay? Big happy changes, oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, this is so beautiful and I feel so good right now. I'm actually feeling a lot of activity. They're sending you, even through this card, I feel like you're being sent like a huge explosion of positive energy. You want to be able to receive it. So you have to be in a positive space and you have to trust that the big happy changes are what's coming in. So this is definitely to encourage you, to remind you, we've been going through many changes here many changes the um masculine energy is being repaired okay it's being uplifted it's being supported you need to be able to do the work on self find that peace that serenity within and you need to listen listen to that voice within it's guiding you listen guys okay so a fiery climax approaches the energy is gaining momentum you have to show the world the real you. Everything that's happened is for the real you to start showing itself. Okay? So, you are ready. You must trust that the big happy changes, they're coming. They're on their way. Wow. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I feel like everyone just got a like burst of energy just now. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. I love how they confirm through the lighting, the... Um, it's just um, so much confirmation as I'm doing the messages for you all. And I'm just happy that it's reaching the right people. Okay, so you have so much to be grateful for. Be in a place where you are thinking. You're just thanking the universe, source, the creator for what you've experienced and that it's helping you. And then it is actually taking you where you need to go. Your guardians, your angels, your ancestors, Spirit is all around you, helping you, okay? Always be in a place where you are showing them that you are thankful. Just That's just something that it's, it's priceless to them, for them to see that you know that they're there with you and that they're helping you and guiding you. So always be in a place of gratitude, okay, guys? Big happy changes. This is good. I will see you guys soon. Alrighty, bye-bye.